In this video, we'll be seeing how to make get and post request using JavaScript. So first of all, we'll be seeing how to make a get request. So we can make a button for that. And we can create an on click listener for this. On click, we can call a function. Now we have to create this function. So come below this button. Now create a script tag. Inside that, we can create the function make get. Here we can call the function fetch. So fetch. And then we can pass the URL. So I have already created an API. So I will show you the API, how it looks like. So this is the get API that I have created. So you can see that I have allowed the cross origin request. Okay, so you have to set this header. Then you can see that I am simply echoing a JSON data. That's all. Now this is in PHP and you can create the API in any language. You just have to make sure that you set the cross origin request allowed. Okay. Now you can go to the JavaScript part. So I have added the API URL here. So I will show the API. So here you can see this is the get API and we are simply printing the JSON response. You can see that we are having name of the student and the percentage. That's all. Then we can call the dot then. And inside that we can response convert it to JSON response dot JSON dot then and inside this then we'll be parsing the data and we'll be showing it to a table so we can get the data like maybe create an object okay JSON and here create a variable let and maybe you can name it like row equal to and we can start the row like okay inside this we'll be giving the tr so we are simply creating a table so i will explain it after typing now we have simply created a table heading okay you can see we are giving a name and the percentage then we can call the for each for the json so json dot for each okay let's remove this we will type it for each and inside that we can call students then we can simply add the values to the table row like maybe li plus equal to now here we have to give the table data so we are having two table datas so we have to call the students dot name okay so dollar curly braces and inside this we can call students dot name okay and we can also call the percentage okay i will hit an enter here okay now the percentage so let's go to the JSON API once more. And you can see we are having name and the percentage. Okay, let's copy the percentage. And we can give it here. Okay. Then after that, we can close it here. Okay, yes. So this is our table row. And we are adding it inside a for each. Okay. Then we can give a semicolon here. And hit enter. Then we can add this to a table. So for that, we have to create a table on the top. So come below the button, create a table. And we have to give an ID for the table. Let's give it an ID like table one. 
okay then we can get the table on the javascript document dot get element by id then we have to call the id that is table one okay then we have to set the data so we have to call dot inner html equal to then we can pass the variable that is li okay so this will do the task you can give a semicolon here okay okay so i think the code is complete okay we have made a mistake okay the variable name is row so let's change li to row so change here as well okay so this two region okay change the li to row and save it now we can try running it and you can see the button get request let's try clicking it okay now you can see a table has appeared and we are having the name and the percentage as well we are having student one student two student three and the percentage of each students so that's the get request now we can see the post request so let's make another file so post.html okay and we can maybe copy this much from here and we can close the script tag now we are going to make the post request so let's rename the function like make post and the function is almost the same but we are passing a value to the api that's all so we can copy this function this much okay and come to the post and create the function function make post and paste the content that we copied inside this okay and we have to change the api url so my api url is like post.php okay okay now this will run so we have to pass a value so for that we are passing a post value so you can use a variable create a variable so we are creating form data new form data and we can append the data so post data dot append okay then we can add the values that we wish to pass so let's simply give a demo value so data give a comma then the value so the first one is the key name and the second one is the actual value okay give a semicolon now we have to pass the value so we have to pass the post data for that we have to come here after the api give a comma and then we can open it like this okay hit and enter give curly braces and hit and enter okay and inside that we can mention the method and the method is post give a comma then we are also passing the body that is the data so body then we can give the post data okay so that's all now we can save it so now we are passing the post data so you can add as much as data you as you want so you simply have to add this line again and you can pass any other key name and also the data okay so you can see that we are passing the post data here and the method is post so now we can try running this and the rest is we are simply adding the data to a table that's all so now we can try running it so you can see so we forgot to change the button text so go to the javascript we can change the button text to post request okay save it okay now you can see the button is post request now we can click on the button and you can see the post request is also success if you go to the php side 
we can go to the post.php and you can see that we are checking if e set of post of data if it is set we are actually echoing the data that is this data otherwise we are simply showing an error message okay so you can see that we are printing the table here okay the post request is also successful so we have seen how to implement post and get method in javascript so we are using php apis and javascript so hope you understand if you are having any doubt you can leave a comment below and i will respond to them if you want the full source code of any projects you can come to this url i'll give the link on the description and you can download any projects from here hope you understand this video if you like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more such videos